Example two here, again, this is an uh, example of particle size distribution curve. And in this example, you are given uh, this particle size distribution curve, and you are asked to calculate these two coefficients, uniformity coefficient and coefficient of gradation. Um, to get these two coefficients, uh, you need to get d10, d30, and d60 values. Okay. So first, we need to basically uh, read these values, d10, d30, d60 values from this curve. For d10, we start with 10% finer or 10% passing on the y-axis. And then you read the corresponding value uh, on the x-axis, which is a particle size. So that is d10. And for this example, d 10 is approximately uh, 0.13 millimeter. And for D30, uh, you start from 30% passing or 30% finer on the y axis. And you read the corresponding x value. So that's D30. And D30 in this case is uh, 0.3. And finally, for D60, so start. Again, start from y-axis, 60% finer or 60% passing. They're the same thing. And then read the corresponding x value, and that's d60. And d60 in, uh, for this curve is 1.0. Okay. Once you have these uh, d values, then to calculate these two coefficients, uh, you just use their definitions. And part A is coefficient of uniformity, c sub u. And by definition, d60 over d30. I'm sorry, d60 over d10. So that's 1 over 0.13. And that's about 7.69. And then part b is c sub c, coefficient of gradation. So that's d30 square over d60 times d10. And if you substitute uh, those numbers we read from the curve, 0.3 square over 1 times 0.13, and that's 0.69. Okay. So that's example 2. Um, it's a very simple example to calculate basically these two coefficients given particle size distribution curve.